And Aaron, do you have music? Or I we do. Gonna... I do okay. have music. Cool. Thank oh, you. Snap, there you go. There go. Quirk and Dignity, my betrothed. Oh, shit. All right. When we last met, our heroes had found themselves in a mausoleum. Striking out from Rosebook, the party was on the road to Fornheim, the frozen city, to confront Admiral Darkstar once again. Burning with passion but devoid of directionality, our gang ran into a child known as Lil Baskins, a scrappy and industrious chap who offered to guide the party through the wilderness and lead them to Fornheim. Quark traded his greatsword for the boy's stick, which turned out to be a magical weapon. Lil Baskins warned of highwaymen and took a detour through a graveyard. Their dignity tried to get to know the boy, who was suspiciously uncomfortable with discussing his life, leading the gang to suspect he may be a ghost. Confronting the boy, he revealed his ghastly past, and after an emotional bonding experience, decided to trust the little ghost, even as he led them into a dank crypt. But where were they going? Was Lil Baskins really trustworthy? And how would going into an underground mausoleum get them into the Northern Highlands? Find out next on an all-new Harmon Town. I mean, I, 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 one of the most frustrating things about doing this three-city tour without it being podcast is I, I really want to tweet about how much I love Little Baskins. <laughs> Such a great, a fun character's name to say, Little Baskins. It's great, right? Yeah, so it's like this little newsy kid that we met in a town, and it turned out he's a ghost. I, like, right? But you guys were pretty cool with him. Yeah. He's a ghost, he's, yeah. He's we, going we, to guide us. Yeah, and so now we're going into a mausoleum. To, yeah, okay. That's what's happening. You already explained it. You're in an overstocked graveyard. You see gray tombstones stabbing out of the sickly green gla- oh, shit. grass. Let me give you that guy's dice. Sorry. I, I'll need that. Right. Look at him. Look, look for come. As well as you see the sun <laughs> burning through the, gris, uh, the misty gray cloud cover. A large mausoleum stands sentry over the legions of gravestones in the yard. Its heavy stone doors completely ajar. Cold darkness lies inside. Little uh, Baskins, uh, is this uh, a shortcut you take to the great beyond? Yeah, we have to go through here so we avoid all those highwaymen that I warned us about earlier. We trust you, little Baskins. Thanks, man. <laughs> little Baskins, when you were alive, did you come a lot? No, I, I was. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, sorry. Uh, what no. age is Little Baskins like permanently? Uh, he looks about uh, twelve. Okay. So he, Sharpie, uh, as a paladin, I'm going to ask you to keep your distance from Little Baskins. No, I shouldn't be talking to him. About no, I, this. We, we don't need to discuss it. And we'll, 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 we can talk about it later. I think you okay. should just keep your distance. I'll just go. I'll just go behind the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're walking through the. I mean, do you you were outside of a mausoleum. We we. All right, we, we I follow. Little I, I I follow as well. All right. <laughs> you, what about you, the rest you of you? Yeah, I'm gonna follow. Just making sure. Dustin? I'm going to. I'm going just for uh, for I'm safety. Gonna, we're, everybody's walking through the door. Yeah. I'm going to stand outside the door and just kind of keep watch, but I'm not going to enter the room. Nice. Cool. cool. Yeah, you don't have to coast if you don't want to. Thank I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to draw my sword. I'm just going to have my my sword out as we're walking through the Is that what a neutral milk hotel would do? Is that, <laughs> is that why you do Razzed. <laughs> razzed. You getting razzed. All right. So uh, you enter the mausoleum. Inside you see, amid the darkness, several statuettes, each about a foot high, bordering an ornate brick pathway that leads to a large five-foot sculpture of a robed female holding a wide, shallow dish as if an offering. Mm. Worst mausoleum ever. They're supposed to just be little rooms with dead people. Uh, I, I inspect the statue and see if I can read anything. Uh, there's no inscription, but the, the woman looks to be maybe 20 years old. And she's a statue. Yes. Sorry. Uh, I look inside the gold dish that she's holding. There's nothing. Also, it's not gold. I don't know where you got that. Uh, I, 
<laughs> I thought I heard you. I don't know. I don't remember. So okay. That. Lil Baskins, uh, who who is this? Who is this woman with this with this empty non gold bowl? I don't know. There's no inscriptions anywhere on this mausoleum. Hmm. Well, Baskins, you. Do you just pass through the mausoleum, or do you don't know what it's for? Well, I mean, we're using it as a passageway. That's more important than who is buried here to me right now. So usually you just keep walking? You don't usually stop and look at this shit? Well, I did, but like I said, there's no inscriptions anywhere. You can't really learn anything. There's just pictures. I don't know. But I'm saying the fact that we're stopped here right now instead of just continuing moving, it's only because we have curiosities, not because you want it to stop. Oh, well, no, we've got to close all the doors uh, before we can proceed. Which doors? The doors to the outside of the mausoleum. Oh, the, our hipster friend is still waiting outside. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I stroll in. <laughs> really cool. And then I lean against the wall and I light a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, Quark loves cigarettes. He, she knows. Or he. Okay. So, um, just clarification, I'm looking at these gained items. Yeah. Robot baby plus power unit. Yeah. The power unit is inside the baby. It's powering him. Okay, so it's like, you know, or, life force, I guess. Yeah, like it's batteries. Okay. Like it's power unit. And the gold dish is just sort of put it there? It sure is. It's not gold, though. It's... <laughs> well, I'm going off. I know, I know. I somehow... I no, somehow, it's... I don't worry about it. I somehow projected goldness onto this dish. Well, maybe I, it should have been gold. I, I, wouldn't, I, I, I I'm, But I am looking at the... Uh, the woman has... in this. It's a statue of a woman, and she's holding this ball. I just... I'm curious. I'm looking with my... I know I'm only a wizard, but I'm kind of looking <laughs> just with a layman's eye at the statue, particularly the relationship of the dish to the woman's hands. Like, I, I'm, you know, I'm obviously, like, looking at this, like, wondering, is, is this a situation where you put something in the dish and something happens? It, it, there doesn't seem to be any kind of joints or seams. So if, unless it, it might be magical, um, in a, but unless it's magical, it doesn't seem like it moves. How many carrots is the dish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was I was thinking carrot was like a unit measurement of length or something. <laughs> um, gold. It was a gold. Can I can gold I like joke. against the wall? I'm kind of like sneaking around the room, examining for any items or or um, inscriptions or anything at all that would have a clue. There's no inscriptions. <laughs> I said that, but you do find a small key. It's rusted and made of iron. Put that shit in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it in the bowl. <laughs> All right, I pick it up and I drop it in the bowl and I walk away and I lean against the wall and I smoke a cigarette. That sounds like a, a, t- a t-shirt they would sell at Spencer's Gifts. Uh, put that shit in the bowl. <laughs> All right, you do those things and you're smoking, but nothing seems to be happening. Okay. I, uh, Will Baskins is like, we need to close the doors. All to right, I, uh, uh, gentlemen, I, I am closing the doors. But be careful. The- because once the doors are closed, we'll be in pitch darkness, and you can't light any lights. Why is that, little Baskins? Because the ghost way doesn't appreciate that sort of thing. The ghost way? Yes. Way, W-A-Y, or W-H-E-Y, like the ghost way. way. Protein. <laughs> Sorry. Is that like a... Uh, the ghost pass? porridge hates this. Is that like a pass or like a... Code, you know, uh, no, it's ghost way. Go the ghost way. And it's more of like a, like a like a path. Okay. Right. Like ghosts take occasionally. I mean, it's a physical path. You know, uh, can I try sense motive on little yeah. Baskins? He uh, he seems to be cared caring for your uh, well being. Is his okay. motive? He seems like a cool kid. All right. Well, I I respect uh, your culture. Um, <laughs> In the culture of the undead, so gentlemen, let's let's keep our uh, torches unlit, and anything else you have that lights up, let's not light it. I'm going to uh, close these doors. How many doors are there? There's just the two. Okay. All right. Because I can't get past the significance of this bowl, <laughs> I just I'm just gonna sit in it while the door is closed. You feel a rusty key under your butt. <laughs> <laughs> if Dan had a dollar. <laughs> um, right, I have, I, I, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I have sorry, trap sense. Are we sense. do some street art? 
What? <laughs> <laughs> I have trap sense plus two. I just want to detect any traps in the doors or the bowl with the key in it. You look around for traps, but you don't find anything. Okay, we're clear, guys. Have you, tried, have you tried parkour? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen my shoes? Of course I have. All right, There's live show. Do you only. want someone to gram you uh, while the lights go out? No, it was this whole thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was, it <laughs> what was hashtag great. do you want to use for the lights going out? <laughs> lights off, Graham. Okay. Hashtag thanks, Obama. <laughs> thanks, Obama. So right. you're sitting in the bowl still? Uh, yeah, I am sitting in the bowl. All right, yeah. Cool. Um, um, All Dignity right. closes the doors, and after they close. Quack, quack. <laughs> oh, Wait, why are you quacking? What? <laughs> no, that was the doors closing. Oh. Flap, flap. Oh, oh, too, too close. <laughs> Two doors. Figured out what the bowl is. Oh, no. Well, oh, God. I didn't. Okay. You got to eat that mic, though, if you're going to have, like, passive yeah. thoughts. Eat it. Yeah. yeah. Closer. <laughs> like this. Closer. Yeah, yeah. yeah like don't that. don't exactly. be afraid to almost kiss it. Just Oh. Yeah. You love that mic. I mean, not... Yeah. yeah, whatever. But you're great. Mic, you're doing great, Nick. Mike's, it's like an yeah, yeah. ice cream cone that you can't eat. Yeah. It's like, mm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was thinking, like, once the door's closed, maybe it lights up or something. But then maybe. I Maybe. Maybe, but... You wish. Yeah. I don't, I, once the door's closed, we're in pitch black. Why yeah. would If the lights came on, why would that even be a thing as a dungeon know. master that you would write? Like, of course that's not going to happen. That's just convenience. The door is closed and a light comes on. Oh, good. I read a book. You read a book. <laughs> Dan, can, can you describe a scenario where you can't eat an ice cream cone that you're holding in your hand? But you still need to keep it close to Yeah, but to you, you have to keep it close to your face. Yeah. No, you, you want to keep it close. I'm, I'm using his, I'm, I'm saying to him, like, like I understand don't what you're be saying. afraid of the mic. Yeah, yeah I just like, want to... Think wanna... of it like an ice cream cone. Of course you can't eat it. I don't want him to lick it the whole time. No one wants to do that. I'm just saying, like, hold it as close as you would if it was made of ice cream that way you'll always have it close enough okay because <laughs> he's a very witty he's saying a lot of funny I, things wasn't my, wasn't my question. are we in yeah. the game right now sorry are we in the game we're still yeah. in the game all right so yeah. the doors the doors have closed dan's sitting on a uh, on a key inside a bowl you hear the grinding stone of something moving dan you feel under your butt movement as as you feel yourself slide, perhaps laterally, to the left or some other direction. <laughs> nice. Uh, does does my low light vision work in this scenario? No. If you does, if does anyone have dark vision? I light a torch. No. God <laughs> no. Damn it. Don't Are wait. You wait. Serious, you dummy? What? Why? What happened? Because the ghost way the, doesn't you're like You're disrespecting it. their culture. The ghost way. W h e y. <laughs> Are you yeah, fucking the ghost kidding pudding. me? No, come on. We we trusted the kid that we, we have okay, no Okay, I I, I, I I hold it up, and then I put it out, and I lean against the wall with my <laughs> Lego. Okay, so you light the torch. No, he never. Did. No, no, I never did. I I oh. go to do it. Oh, and you then took it out. And, okay. They give me a look, and then I and I, but I still. Act I mean, cool is about that it. cheating? Because he said that he lit the torch. No, well, I just thought he. I thought his second thing was after lighting the torch, I put it out. He didn't do anything. All right, oh, if fuck. you say so. Yeah. He's not even. Not even He's a You're doing a great, Dusty. For this Everybody, mausoleum. clap for Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> don't That's en- sad. No, don't encourage him. I'm depressed. That's sad. It's good. <laughs> it's good applause. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. So, so Sharpie is is moving to the left. We hear a grinding noise. Yep. I call out. I'm sitting in the bowl and I'm moving to the left. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the doorway. It's opening up. All right, I Thanks. I move I move towards where I know the statue is, and I and I grab onto Sharpie's foot. All right, you do that. Something's touching my foot. It's me. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna want to go down these stairs here. If you want to get off of that statue, can we see them? No, you can't see anything. You're in pitch darkness. Do we have to hold each other? Well, you might want to figure that out, yeah, because otherwise, who knows what'll happen. All right, I, I take out I take out my uh, my rope, I tie it around my waist, and I and I pass it to Sharpie. All well, right, let's let's pass this uh, through the group. So little we'll Baskins, are you corporeal? Um, not very. I mean, I can occasionally, but no. I do have low light vision. Yeah, but it's not. It's it's too dark for low light. God no, damn it! No light. Wait, what? Do you make that sound again? 
What? You made the sound again. I, it was an accident. It's a computer okay. noise. I chastise you. Chastise. All right. So are we? Are we down? <laughs> Christopher, what do you? What, what are you? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get through. I think the cloak thing would be a good idea, but climbing downstairs with the person in front falls. Everybody falls. Right. So was, I think you just described Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> Or Inherent one of the problems of Bitcoin. One of many. I'm kidding. I just. <laughs> <laughs> or one of the uh, other ones. I don't know why I'd say I'm kidding. Uh, Dan Harmon uh, collapses Bitcoin with a joke. <laughs> um, I, I, well, yeah. Little Baskins, uh, I think what we're going to have to have you do, because you're an audio only presence, is you're going to have to keep going, uh, Little Baskins. Like, like, or say, you're you're going to have to keep saying something so we can follow you. Yeah, okay. How about uh, uh, the, that's what I was going to say. Oh, say. Thanks Marco. for making yeah. it sound like I wasn't thinking it up myself. I appreciate Ooh. that. Ooh. I thought it was really clever if I would have just came up with Marco on the spot. I'm right. sorry. Jesus. What? Follow me. Nah, Marco. Well, <laughs> why would well, little Baskins, these are, are these are these not standard stairs? Oh, uh, they're just stairs. But right, I I feel confident that I can walk down the stairs in All total right. darkness. <laughs> yeah, I I I am uh, I walk pretty well. I think. All right, well, just charge ahead right. then. All you right. walk Do down it. the stairs successfully. Bam! Wow. What do the rest of you guys do? Well, like, in a meta sense, I'm getting a drink. Uh, I'll creep down behind her, like, like crouching, but I'm, I'm pretty scared of the dark. Yeah, you are. That happens. You're downstairs too. Are you guys tied together or not? Uh, I, I want to do the so. rope thing. I, I, I think the rope thing is a good idea. Who was doing the rope thing? Um, I, I was. Okay. Well, then I guess that means I followed you down the stairs. All right. I grab hold of the rope in the like middle part. Yeah, I'm going to grab the end. Okay. You're down the stairs. I have the key still clenched in my buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> that will come up. So uh, Lil Baskins is down there, and he's like, hey, just yeah, follow the sound of my voice. Oh, also, just be aware that this path that we're on is only about 10 feet wide, and there's no railings, and I think it's bottomless. What you think? You, I, I thought you'd, you've been down this way before, Lil Yeah, Baskins. but I usually don't fall off. What at what point is it bottomless? There's an end of the stairs, and it's a bottomless or or it's a endless stairwell. No, it goes to a it goes to a a regular path. Does little Baskins have any any temperature? Like, do I when you're close to him, do you feel cold or anything? Uh, Does he smell like spirits? Not as far as you know. No. Everything that everyone has said for the last five minutes is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> All right. Marco. Polo. 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 Marco. Polo. 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 How do we know this, everyone? <laughs> you feel the ground shift under your feet and give Ooh. way. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Ground shifting. <laughs> Dignity and uh, Chris DeBerg uh, failed to dive out of the way, although Quark and Sharpie managed to avoid, avoid their fate. You guys fall 30 feet down and hit the ground. <laughs> Taking 13 damage apiece. Uh, 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 are you guys okay? Were we still tied together? No, I, I what I heard was that you're holding on. I was holding on. I have rope burns in my hand. Yeah. So but uh, are you guys okay? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Let me check my hit points. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm all right. I think we found the bottom. Are you, uh, are you, are you... Are you safe up there? What, uh, what do you, what do you see? We don't see anything. It's pitch yeah. dark. But, but we heard a very modern, uh, Spot. critical error of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, uh, a small passing of gas. Mm. That's kind of what that sounds like. Mm. <laughs> Are you guys coming? <laughs> <laughs> um, not sure. Little Bastion, wh where did our friends go? Can you Little go Baskins. down there? <laughs> Park Wait, what's it called? Baskins. Baskins. Like Sebastian. the store. But not. Why don't you do what you wish? 
Oh. Um, okay, little Baskins, can you go down there and, and investigate for us? They fell down a pit. I mean, I can see fine. Yeah, what do you see down there? Oh, they didn't fall off that pit. This is a this is a different pit. This is a much better pit to fall down. So it's not bottomless. It's like a no. This sm- one definitely is about thirty feet deep. It looks like. Okay. Uh, well, is the rope still down there? Can we just pull them up? Yeah, they're tied to a rope. Or 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 uh, I'm you are operating under me, the yeah. assumption that they're just holding the rope. Right. I, I tied it around. You still my, have the rope. Do you waist. have the rope down there? Yeah, I okay. have the rope. We're gonna pull up the rope. I have uh, twelve strength, <laughs> so it should be no problem. But what what's down in the hole? Like, do we want to proceed down? What's down in the hole, you guys? I uh, I, I, I I feel around. You the hole. feel small, uh, smooth walls, and nothing else. Was this pit what? Lay ahead of us as if the path that we were on suddenly had a pit in it, and yeah. we just didn't fall in, and they did. No, it was a pit trap wherein the floor gives way and becomes oh. a pit. All right, let's get the go, get go them ahead out of there. And, and pull me out of the golden hole made of gold. <laughs> you do that. You're pulled out. We're both pulling of you up. Yep. You're, a- You're successfully pulled out. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. Lil Baskin's like, I forgot. There's traps around here. I don't set them off. Okay. So. You're doing great. You're um, a ghost baby that can see. You're leaving four people that can't see. Yeah. And you're being very flippant and vague about everything. Yeah. Um, I said I forgot. I mean, when you're a ghost, you don't set off traps. No, if no, I no. have a trap sense, can I do it in the dark? You can try, but it'll um, be worse. So we've moved past the hole in the floor, right? No, you're on the one side of the hole. Um, okay, so side. we need to get across this, but it's in pitch dark. So yeah. can we throw? We tie the rope to something and throw it across, and then just, I guess, climb across? You could do I, all sorts of things. Little baskets, can you float? Yeah. Can you carry a rope? No. Uh... <laughs> uh we need to, yeah. Well, Lil Baskins, can you describe? We want you to understand that as non ghost babies, we cannot see anything. I know. So we need to anchor this rope so yeah. we can get across. Can you tell us, be our eyes for us? Tell us, are there structures over there to which we can anchor this rope if we could hit it with a, with a grapple or something? There aren't. Uh, it's only eight feet wide. You could probably jump it. All right, I I, uh, I still have the rope tied to my waist. I uh, I, I rev up. <laughs> I run towards the hole. This is a terrible. And I try to jump over the hole. Terrible idea. You fall in the hole. <laughs> you start you start to go down, and you guys notice the rope. It's you know doing that thing that rope does when someone's falling yeah, down I, something. Yeah, it goes tout and starts pulling us. I, I I yeah I pull it and we. Yeah. All right, you pull her to safety. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, okay. Let's. let's hey, communicate. funny thing. Um, I've been looking at this sheet. Would goggles at night work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming to Harmontown. Yes. What? Oh. Thank okay. you so much to Nick, Dustin Marshall, <laughs> our producer, Spencer Crittenden.